In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Let Father. Let us begin our celebration by pausing for a while. Call to mind all our sins and all our failures, and ask God for forgiveness and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You, call, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the working of your mercy, O Lord, we pray, direct our hearts aright. For without your grace, we cannot find favor in your sight. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet, Jeremiah. I knew their plot because the Lord informed me at the time you, O Lord, showed me their doings. Yet I, like a trusting lamb led to slaughter, had not realized that they were hatching plots against me. Let us destroy the tree in its vigor. Let us cut him off from the land of the living so that his name will be spoken no more. But you, O Lord of hosts, O just judge, searcher of mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them, for to you I have entrusted my cause. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. Save me from all my pursuers and rescue me, lest I become like the lion's prey, to be torn to pieces with no one to rescue me. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. Do me justice, O Lord, because I am just, and because of the innocence that is mine. Let the malice of the wicked come to an end, but sustain the just, O searcher of heart and soul, O just God. O Lord, my God, in you I take refuge. A shield before me is God, who saves the upright of heart. A just judge is God, a God who punishes day by day. O Lord, my God, in you I take refuge. Please stand. Blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield the harvest through perseverance. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Some in the crowd who heard these words of Jesus said, this is truly the prophet. Others said, This is the Christ. But others said, The Christ will not come from Galilee, will he? Does not scripture say that the Christ will be of David's family and come from Bethlehem, the village where David lived? So a division occurred in the crowd because of him. Some of them even wanted to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him. So the guards went to the chief priests and Pharisees, who asked them, Why did you not bring him? The guards answered, Never before has anyone spoken like this man. So the Pharisees answered them, Have you also been deceived? Have any of the authorities or the Pharisees believed in him? But this crowd, which does not know the law, is accursed. Nicodemus, one of the members who had come to him earlier, said to them, 
The Tsar law condemns a man before it first hears him and finds out what he is doing. They answered and said to him, You are not from Galilee also, are you? Look and see that no prophet arises from Galilee. Then each went to his own house. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat ulit at welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. Imagine ninyo kaya kung sakasakali si, si Jesus ay magpakita uli sa atin. Nakaupo sa tabi ninyo, halimbawa, tanong, makikilala mo kaya? Makikilala kaya natin si Jesus kapag nasa tabi na natin? Nasa tabi na natin naka either gusgusin o nakadamit mayaman o mukhang trabahador o mukhang manager o mukhang politician makikilala kaya natin? Hindi natin masabi ano? Pero hindi malayo na hindi ng iba makikilala yung iba hindi makikilala di ba? Hindi malayo. Bakit? Eh kahit noon pa ganun na nangyari mismo si Jesus without any pretension without any costume. Di ba? Nagpakita si Jesus na nakisama sa kanilang pamumuhay and yet dito sa according to our gospel, iba-iba ng pananaw. Hindi lahat nakakilala kay Jesus as the son of God. Hindi lahat nakita ang pagiging anak ng Diyos ni G- kay Jesus. Hindi lahat. Not because of Jesus' fault, I'm sure. But because of their fault. At kung hindi rin natin makikilala si Jesus ngayon sa araw na ito o sa susunod pang maaraw o kahit kailan pa man, it's not because of Jesus' fault. It's because of our fault. Meron tayong kanya-kanyang mga expectation. Kung ano kaya ang tsura ng, kung ang Diyos naging tao ngayon at humarap sa akin, ano kaya itsura? Meron kang expectation. Nisip mo, bumubusila kaya yung muka. Nisip mo, bland, batangos ilong. Iniisip mo, ordinaryong tao. Meron tayong kanya-kanya expectations. Kaya, dahil doon sa mga expectations yan, iba-iba ang pananaw. Kaya, kaya nga sabi natin, yung iba, hindi makikilala si Jesus. Hindi makikilala ang Panginoon kahit magpakita pa sa atin. Sa gospel na binasa natin, yung ibang tao, ang pagtingin kay Jesus, prophet. Yung iba, ang pagtingin, the Christ, yung pinadala ng Diyos. Yung iba ang tingin, ang sabi, ang paniniwala, yung Kristong ipapadala ng Diyos hindi manggagaling sa Galilee. At dahil ito ay manggagaling sa Bethlehem kung saan um, nanggaling ang pamilya, ang, ang tribo ni David, King David. Galing sa Bethlehem. So galing daw sa Bethlehem. Kaya ngayon, sa, dahil sa kaguluan, yung iba gustong arestuin si Jesus. Diyat sabi naman ng guards, never before has anyone spoken like this one. Buti pa yung guards. Nakita yung diferensya ni Jesus, no? Never before has anyone spoken like this man. Si Nicodemus, ang sabi naman, pakinggan muna natin. Bago natin arestuhin, pakinggan muna natin. Sabi naman ng Pharisees, no prophet arises from Galilee. Iba-iba. Iba-iba ang pananaw. Iba-iba, iba-iba ang pagtingin, iba-iba ang hinahanap para masabi ito yung pinadala, ito yung Mesaya, ito yung pinadala ng Diyos. Sabi ko nga sa atin, ganun, ganun din. We have our own experiences. Sana, no? Sana we have experienced Jesus in our lives. Sana na-encounter na natin ng Panginoon sa buhay natin. In whatever way, whatever form, I'm sure iba-iba, yan, iba-iba rin yan. Pero sana nagkaroon tayo ng experience na parang nakasama na natin ng Panginoon. Naging mabuti ang buhay, na-solve yung problem, pinatawad tayo, nagpatawad tayo. Sana mayroon tayo ng mga ganong experiences. Kasi doon natin makikilala, doon natin makikita ang presence ng Panginoon sa buhay natin. Kung saan mayroong kabutihan, kung, ser- kung saan mayroon magagandang bagay, magagandang tao. Hindi, ba, hindi lang yung mukha, ah, pang ugali. Kung mayroong mabubuting tao, nandun, yun ang presence ng Diyos sa atin. Pinapadala ng Diyos sa atin. Sa 
sa Old Testament, sa ating first reading, sabi ni Jeremiah, uh, ang Diyos ay, ay kinocompare sa isang trusting lamb led to the slaughter, which is actually a preview <clears throat> to what is coming to us in Holy Week, di ba? Jesus led to the crucifixion, to, the, to His execution, to His death, like a, like a trusting lamb. Hindi nagreklamo. Hindi nagreklamo, hindi nagkaso. Pumayag lang na madala sa kamatayan. So siguro pwede nating pag-isipan ngayon, tanungin natin sa ating sarili, sa mga, nang, mga pangyayaring dumaan na sa buhay natin, matagal na o ngayon pa lang, bago pa lang, pwede natin tanungin sa ating sarili, sino ba talaga si Jesus na na-encounter natin? Kailan at ano bang, in what way, na na-encounter natin si Jesus? Kasi sana, Tumatak naman yung sa isip natin at puso natin, no? Nagpakita, nagparamdam sa atin si Jesus. Hindi man lang natin matatandaan. Sayang naman. Nakahinayang. So pwede natin yung pag-isipan in, in these days. Paano ba nagparamdam sa akin si Jesus? Sa anong paraan? Paano ko nakilala si Jesus sa mga, mga nakaraang araw? And another question, even more important, Paano ko naparamdam sa ibang tao, ako mismo, paano ko natin, tayong lahat, paano natin na ipaparamdam sa ibang tao ang presence ni Jesus sa atin? Kung tinitignan ba tayo ng tao, nakikita lang nila, hindi lang si Father Robbie, hindi lang si John, hindi lang si, si James, hindi lang si Dorothy, hindi lang si Susan o kung sino man tayo. Pag nakikita ba tayo ng tao, nakikita nga na, na, na aninag ba nila? Mayroon bang konting anino man lang ni Jesus na nakikita sa atin? Sana. Kung hindi man ngayon, sana pagkatapos ang whole week, pagkatapos sa ating pag-isipan lahat, pagsisi sa ating mga kasalanan, pagkatapos sa maraming maraming pagdarasal, sana magkaroon din ng pagbabago. At sana pagkatapos ang Easter, umpisa na na talagang makita ng mga tao sa atin ang anino ni Jesus Christ. Kapag nakikita tayo, nakikilala si Jesus Christ. Sana. Sana. Let's all stand on. As we recall the rejection of the Savior who suffered for our sake, let us ask for the faith of the humble that we may transmit Christ's message to others through our words and deeds. After each petition, we say, You are our strength, O Lord. You are our strength, O Lord. That those in authority may be guided by the spirit of faith. Let us pray to the Lord. You are our strength, O Lord. That courage may be given to those who spread the gospel message everywhere. Let us pray to the Lord. You are our strength, O Lord. That rich nations may be generous to poor nations. Let us pray to the Lord. You are our strength, O Lord. That the sick, the prisoners, the elderly, and the handicapped may be strengthened by God's consoling words. Let us pray to the Lord. You are our strength, O Lord. That the faithful departed may enjoy the promised everlasting peace. Let us pray to the Lord. You are our strength, O Lord. Let us pray for our own personal intentions and for the special intentions of this Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. You are our strength, O Lord. Father of all, you sent your only Son to draw us closer to you. Guide us in our mission to spread our faith throughout the world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Bless thou, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual Blessed food. be God forever. Bless thou, you Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of your hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, we pray with these oblations you receive from our hands. And even when our wills are defiant, constrain them mercifully to turn to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through bodily fasting, you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, the minions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim work, worship together with exaltation. May our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, 
Fidelis, his auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray now to our Father in heaven in the words that our Lord himself has taught us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away the, the sins, sins of, of the world, world have, mercy have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please be. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
please kneel for the prayer of the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together, deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord, from coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord, from dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord, from bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord, from threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord, let us pray together, hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord, that conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord, that the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord, that human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord, that the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord, that genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord, let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May your holy gifts purify us, O Lord, we pray, and by their working, render us fully pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. We are devotees of Our Lady of Manawag. The summer feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be in, on May 4, 2022, third Wednesday after Easter Sunday. The Novena Masses will be scheduled at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon and 4.30 p.m. from April 25 to May 3, 2022. Additional Mass at 3 p.m. on May 1, Sunday. We invite you to participate in these Novena Masses. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for, mass, for Masses area and submit it with your donation, where you will be provided with an acknowledgement receipt. Or you may visit our website, www.manawagminorbasilica.org, for the online PAMISA. All names of donors and sponsors will appear in the electronic souvenir program. Thank you very much for your continued support. God bless you. Please stand. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pakikisa sa Santa Misa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Look upon your people, O Lord, and as they draw near to the coming festivities, bestow upon them abundance of heavenly grace that helped by the consolations of this world, they may be impelled more readily towards higher goods that cannot be seen. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in the peace and the love of Christ. Thanks be to God. We now pray for the sick and bless your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, you, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to, to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary. May all these articles be blessed and those who use them made holy as they fulfill the will of God according to the example of the Blessed Mother. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.